This episode of Monster Milo Review, we have three excellent additions to the Monster Scenes collection, including the saber-toothed rabbit, the feral cat, and the skeleton, all sold separately and brought to you by Dencom. If you think you've seen these kits already, well you have on Monster Model Review number 125, where I reviewed the resin editions of these kits. What makes these editions so special? To start with, the larger full color boxes, the glossy enlarged instruction sheets, and a full color mini poster of the box art, all with beautiful art by Jim Craig. These kits are all plastic and have special tweaks and additions that make these editions must-haves. Designed by Jim Craig and sculpted by Tony Cipriano, as stated in the previous review, these kits fit perfectly in the Monster Scenes world. Joining me this episode, we have guest artist Tori Maccaro, Monster Scenes own kit painter. You can see a great collection of his work in the book Aurora Monster Scenes, The Most Controversial Toys of a Generation, as seen on Monster Model Review number 154. The first noticeable difference to these additions, the plastic kits come in more pieces due to molding. The feral cat in resin comes in 10 parts, and the plastic kit comes in 19. The kit has no other changes than being plastic from the resin outside of piece count. The plastic kits fit perfectly together, and with the right technique gluing it up, there is very little seam work to do. As with the previous edition, I used the extra ring on the saber tooth rabbit and made a neck collar holding the key to the cage. The Sabretooth Rabbit originally came out in seven pieces, and due to the incredibly detailed sculpt of this edition comes in 18, 10 solely for the rabbit. As with the Feral Cat, the pieces fit perfectly needing very little seam work. Both editions of the rabbit include an iron chain, and this time includes the rabbit's very own base. I painted all these kits as mentioned in the previous episode with color changes to differentiate between the editions. And as with the resin kits, these kits all come with interchangeable heads for mix em and match em fun. The third kit, the Skeleton, has the most significant changes. This originally came out in the original Monster Scenes Pain Parlor and the first new edition and was just four pieces. This edition comes in 11 pieces and for the first time comes with his own display base. The Skeleton itself has been altered so that the rib cage connects, making it a sturdier build and comes with not one, not two, but three different faces. The brand new base and hanging post not only gives the skeleton his own base for display, but coincides with the excellently illustrated story on the instructions. Coming up next, the long-awaited release of the two Lost Monster Scenes kits, the Dungeon and the Animal Pit. I'm a big fan of Monster Scenes and these three kits fit the bill perfectly, and being a fan of plastic, I look forward to the extra pieces. They fit so well with proper building, there isn't much more work to do than the resin additions, and that's the part of modeling I love the most. These are must-haves for every Monster Scenes collection. Check out www.monsterscenes.net to get your kits today. Check us out at monstermodelreview.com or Facebook for more Monster Scenes action and much, much more. I've been your host, Rob Madison, and thanks for watching.